Um, other than that, I've been taking them right out there. Um, these, this stuff here, I've had these break on me. These are top plates, and this is new right here for these newer cars. For some reason, they they decided to put these aluminum on here, which is kind of good because I slid into a tree and smashed up the whole left side of my Chronos V1. I had to buy all kinds of new stuff, and uh, even possibly may have to get one of these gift case covers because uh, these two screws here, this one here, just uh, doesn't seem to want to go in right. But so far, it's been holding up just fine. I just threw a wheelie bar on it. That's the one with the 14 tooth. It was already pretty rugged the way it was. I probably should have, probably should have not did that, but I did because I wanted to. So, um, is there anything else? Uh, no, nah, the shocks are a little soft as usual. Because once you put batteries in them, they're gonna be good. I'll end up changing the weight out. Usually, I do about 70 all the way around, or I go 80 in the back, 60 in the front. Because when you go over bumps. And you're, and you're driving, um, steering especially, um, if your shocks are real stiff, which is good for flipping and jumping and landing because your car won't bottom out as much and, and it stays stiff and, and it keeps the electronics good. But uh, when you're driving and you're trying to rip around or you're trying to go over and you hit a bump and your front shocks are stiff, or e even your back too, but it won't. it's not as bad when you're trying to steer, is that the whole car will move. But if you have a softer fluid, then the whole tire will just go over like it, like it's a good suspension should when you're driving over bumps and you just want to get from point A to point B. But again, uh, I usually, so that's why I keep this a little thinner. This one a little thicker, keep the back from bottom out, although these type of wheelbase cars a lot of times nowadays, they're putting the weight in the front, and uh, which is okay because it just always tends to fall on the back anyways for some reason. Not bad, it's a little plush. I'm going to end up changing that out probably tighten them up so that the car stands up. It stands up now, but once the batteries go in, it's going to go down. I don't really need that. So, is there anything else? It comes with a, probably a 13 tooth pinion, I imagine. No, that one almost looks like a 14. So, it may run more like the Shogun, which is fine, because with the Shogun and then the bigger wheels, um, it just, it, it's as bad, to me, it's, it's, fun, it's been more fun than the Kronos. Um, I had I had good fun with the Chronos V2, but the Chronos V1 I have fun with, but it's exciting. It's uh, it can be dangerous at times if you're not careful. It's very aggressive. There's the V2, not so much. It was uh, still aggressive, but fun. This one here, uh, or the Shogun, I mean, uh, just fun anyways. Just fun all the way around, do everything you wanted to. So that's not a so I guess that's it. I can't think of anything else that needs to be said. Everything's the same as the other ones. I can compare them to the other cars, but like I said, they're the same chassis. Um, different tires. I have different tires on each. I have uh, copper heads on my Chronos V1. I have, uh, what, what else do I have? I have D-boots on my Sh Shogun uh, V2. I have Kaiju tires on my V1, and it's been immaculate. Um, V1 Shogun. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this out and see what what it, what it probably is going to do. I imagine it's going to be awesome. So thank you. Have a good day.